Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I am back, and I found the post office. You got it, loose change. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Ransom, what are you doing here? The latest issue of Humongous Honka Honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. You, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? How do you not go postal working at this all? Hey! We don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? Job-related stress is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. I just had a scary thought. What if abused Amazon and other similar workers start quote-unquote going postal? You think mailmen are high-level government agents? Definitely. I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position of them all. You do realize you're basically a pizza delivery man. Except worse, because you never bring any pizza. Well, that just shows what you know. Why are mailmen so great, then? The whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel, people wouldn't get their paychecks or bills. The economy would fall into chaos. People would starve. I hold people's lives in my hands every day. Mailmen are the god Hermes incarnate. Ransom. Huh? Don't you see? You're nuts, George. <laughs> oh, what a great comeback. I got a joke about the post office. What's the difference between a dog and a mailman? I don't know. The dog knows how to bring you the mail. That's very disrespectful to the United States government mail handling officials, Ransom. Get bent. All right, fine. Hey, George, you lazy I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years. What do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, you. What is with these specks of dust? I'm betting it like unlocks a ransom hidden swag. Actually, is it ransom swag? Sure, why not? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like your liver's about to fail. So I guess we both look like. I don't really blame you for drinking. Oh, you don't? Nah. With your ugly face, I drink every time I pass the mirror. <laughs> You're one to talk. You always hated Chuck Edmund, right? <laughs> I, I, I don't talk about that. Well, I hated the too. Really? Yeah, that American snob thought he was too good to make my toys. Canceled the most lucrative deal of my life. You got any booze to spare? If I did, it would cost you. To be honest, I think you should be offering a drink to the poor that got to look at you. How else will they get through the day? You know, I may be a bum, but at least I'm not an... You got any, uh, second-hand crystals? You look like you're hitting the willy sauce harder than I am. Well, you look like you're about to dirty. fail. So I guess we both right. look like... We're the only people in town who didn't want to kiss his ass. No, there was definitely something wrong with that man. Yeah, it's too bad his milk toast little shit of a brother Franklin had to vanish. He wanted to make the dolls, because he knew a good deal when he saw one. Dumb Chuck would rather the factory stay dead than make the toys. The stubborn And you can bet if I ever find Franklin, I'll wring his scrawny neck Pretty for sure bailing he's dead. on me. Will you do me a favor? I'll do almost anything for a dollar. I'm gonna ignore that line, because it's too <laughs> easy. But next time someone gives you some cash, can you pick up one of those pine tree car fresheners and hang it around your neck? You smell like... 
I think you left my hot plate on. Got to run. Right. Where am I going to get ransom swag? Honestly, it's not like I'm just carrying around a box full. There's a note inside. Never mind. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird, and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Hey, buy me a drink? This is too valuable just to give away for no reason. Have you no, it's seen not. my it's dime? It's an comic. There's no market for it. The wallet's the only thing I'll accept. Here's a new wallet with my picture on it. Oh, Ransom the Clown wallet. Thanks. Here's my old one. What am I going to do with this piece of shit? Great. What do I want with a bloody wallet? <sighs> Loose change? And now I have to give this wallet to one of the investigators. This swapping inventory thing can be a bit of a pain. All right, hold on. I'm not going to do it on camera while I walk him, either him to the hotel or or back to the circus. Hold on. Hey, little ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back. And A, I've been gone a few days, and B, I may actually look like, no, look like I know what I'm doing for a bit, because... I had a recording mess up, and I've got hours of footage that are just audio and blank screen, so, yeah. I need to yeah. stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Do what I need to do. Good for you. All right. Give bloody wallet to investigate. Here's a bloody wallet. I hope you get hepatitis. All right. Let's go do some investigating. But first, I keep forgetting I have to open every damn door first. That's uh, my one petty complaint about this game. Run. I went to the wrong floor. Get over it. All right. Use bloody wallet in the blood tron. Oh, it lit up. Okay. Use bloody toilet paper. It's too soggy to it's put in the It's too soggy to put in the blood trod. The trouble with multiple characters is my inventory is split. Alright. Let us head to the edge of town. Good thing about having cleared the area is the Stupid sheriff a doodly or whatever he says gave all the maps back. Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? So I can pick up a map. And now I have fast travel. There's absolutely nothing to see at the abandoned factory, but I cover it in the la in in my failed videos. So I'm gonna cover it here. Here we go. Do -do -do. Ooh. Are those blue bonnets? No, they're not the right shape. Alright, foreclosure ordered by safety first savings. Damn, dude. And the gate is very circularly locked. Radio station. I'm on a Mexican wall. Radio. Alright. Ever notice that 60 cycle hum whenever you pick up a phone? It's an alien invasion, I tell you. Aliens are trying to make us stupid. Don't talk on the phone and you're you already become stupid. an idiot. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Yes, she has taken it. She, she said something different in the other video. She said, my radio take, I have locked myself in and I have taken over the radio until the government admits their large, conspir large conspiracy. And now she's not saying anything at all. Interesting playlist. Tune ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. Then Tune ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. Followed by Tune ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. And featuring Tune ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. And finally, Tune ahead by Razor and the Scamettes. Hey, it's nice to know uh, Razor made it big. For those of you who don't know, she was in Maniac Mansion. I remember that poster. It gave me nightmares. What? Just the Mad Hatter at a rave. 
Nice. nice. I can't. It's been glued to the desk. The poster's also glued down. Everything in this place is glued to the walls. Glued down. All right. The old circus, I've been there. The hotel, the factory, mansion. Haven't been to the hotel yet. M D Hotel Ho L Ho L Nothing to see out here. You're investigating here too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why shouldn't I go in there? What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Really? That's terrible. How serious are the reports? Should I be worried? Uh, given that there's no such thing as ghosts, you'll be fine. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's no says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. I was not he was seen around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Okay. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. Disguise appearance, check in the hotel, get duplicate of prospectus. Why are we using a big overly fancy word like prospectus? Could be headless gold panning. Words don't do it justice. I have no idea what they're doing. It looks better from this side. I can imagine it does. It is a butt. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. Why is a computer showing old tube TV static? That's what I want to know. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. I can't talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Yeah, I can't really talk to him right now. Until I have a disguise. Also, I can't turn that music down. Yes, he can't hear me. Turning the music off that does not work. Because it's in I'll just the push game. this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> you're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. Okay, what? I, I do not... Jason the News Guy has to be some kind of parody reference. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. Reeboks? Aren't they rad? Won't you quit playing that music? You're not my dad. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, oh, don't you just love the nope. music? I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Well, dummy, I just you told you did. I hated it. What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. Way to go, loser. Eventually you realize how empty your life is when you hung your identity on crap that by, you know, ten years later was openly mocked. Then again, almost everything cool is mocked by the next generation. What if I said you didn't have the latest... But 80s stuff? fashion especially. <laughs> like, barf me out. 
all my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Your shoes are not the latest and greatest. What's your damage? Of course! They're totally awesome! Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses have gotta be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. Dude, Groucho glasses have been around since well before the 80s, man. Your jacket is not the latest and greatest. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm so sure. Your jacket looks like something Zach Morris would reject I would totally to wear. know what was the latest and greatest. Oh, yeah? I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... Time to go all 80s. Fly homie? Nope, nope, wrong generation. Know some peeps? Nope. Groovy. I know this gnarly dude who... Blogs? There were no blogs in the 80s. Was on MTV and... Sweet YOLO hashtag. Oh, God. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit! I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock Greetings, out. fellow kids. Oh, don't you just love this music? Nope, it's crap. I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude, what's your damage? Are you gonna ask me about my damage every time? Here, loser, a pink... Teddy bear. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You'd do that for me? Oh, sick. Who what do you want to trade? I need a disguise. I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over. <laughs> Here it is. Sweet! Your ace. Later, dude. And I know I'm a nerd, but him calling me ace reminds me of the old ace, the, 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 the the doctor, Doctor Who, the doctor's companion. A disguise from... to make my forgettable face even more invisible. Use the glasses. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Especially not someone as stupid as the sheriff, coroner, janitor, uh, hotel clerk. And I know he's done at least one other thing. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel aboo in the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? You can help me take over the try, Thimbleweed Park area. Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, a boo. Yeah. boo, a boo, a boo. Yeah. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper, a boo. Unless I get more paper, a boo, I won't be able to help you out. I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? I'm Elio Estevez. Frank Zappa. George Mike. Yep, Frank Zappa. Franklin, um, Frank Zappa. Of course, Mr. Zappa. We have a lovely suite, Abu, for you on the fourth floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the tenth floor. <laughs> How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Zappa. Well, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you ask. get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. Okay, I get it. You've mentioned the 10th I'm floor I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. We get it. Go right to the 10th floor. 
It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. Hey, mine now. There we go. Oh, look, paper. Oh, look, paper. I should probably look at the paper. Fortunately, there's like seven different articles of it. It's hotel stationery. That is, it's a mostly blank piece of paper. I wonder if I really need to collect all of these in every room. The doors are closed. Wow, you're stupid. The doors are closed. I don't know what you expect me to do by walking up and clicking on the elevator. All right. Need a prospectus. Prospectus Dominus. Latin. Welcome back to the Edmund Hotel, Mr. Zappa. How may I be a boo of service? Could you use this as photocopying paper? What a great idea, Abu. That will do nicely. To photocopy my prospectus, I still need to give him one ah, more page. I need one more. If that's all, I'll get back to my duties. Yeah, the first time I played, I uh, grabbed all of them. And I had sheets left in my inventory, and I apparently didn't do a careful count. There we go, got the paper. Didn't think you needed to watch me wait through the elevator all the whole time up and down. Go out, dummy. No! Alright. That was a left click too. That shouldn't have activated the doors. Welcome hey, back dummy. to the Edmund Come Hotel, in. Mr. Zappa. How may I be a boo of service? We need skippable text. Here's some more paper for photocopying. That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This toy's butt. This no. prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. <laughs> One task done. Yay! Now I should go to my room and prepare. I done good. The doors are closed. Okay. Where's my room? Seven oh six. Use. Nope. Well, this key card doesn't open Wait, this particular room. Four? 405? It's different this time? What the hell was the point of making that randomizing what room it is? Because it was 706 last time. Use key on. How about that? The room is exactly the damn same. Hello? You didn't dial anything. I yes, saw your hand. only on Tuesdays. Yes, I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. And it's pointed right at the friggin' bed, too. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. That's creepy. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. I don't want to pick that up. Yes, you do. All right, fine. Gum. A standard Waiting. hotel room photo. What was that? <coughs> 
I guess it was nothing. Looks like the trial <coughs> is working perfectly. Excuse me. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Finally ready for my meeting. a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Back to being plain old Franklin. Aww. That was quick. Poor boring Franklin. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? Somebody has a death ray? Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. Frank Zappa. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. And? That man checked in under the name Frank Zappa. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, imagine a mystery so. body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? We're not telling the press anything until his family is notified. Respectable feds. Interesting development. What room did the man with the large nose check into? It was a room on the fourth floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. I apologize. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Uh, hmm, there are some coins at the bottom. What a waste of money. I don't want to pick that up. Fine, I don't like money. Me, me, me. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel aboo in the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo? Okay, I'm not gonna do that one again. You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? I don't believe a boo so. Well, there you go. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, a boo. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not a boo. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh. I saw him, but I don't know, Abu, what happened to him. Funny thing, Abu, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. Rena, what room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. I knew it was a Ned Flemming. It was a him. Mr. Frank Zappa. Yes. He checked into a room, Abu, on the fourth floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm, good. I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have Thank a nice you. evening, Abu. I am bad at this. Bad at opening elevators. Come on. There we go. Use room key on room door. The gum's still there. 
That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. That might ruin the photo. Aww. I can't put okay, it in fine. there. Be that way. Well, I'm probably going to call it here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss of you. Good night.